Alright, boys and girls, ladies and gents, trying out the new T8F chain setup right now. And so far, sounds good. I relocated a chain tensioner. I'll probably show you guys after I go to the gas station. So I relocated a chain tensioner because we're had to eat some of my hot food from the gas station real quick. Yeah, I just grabbed some snacks and stuff. So what's nice about the, the razor, you can just take it down the street, pick up whatever you need. And boom, come back and have fun at the same time. Yeah, so bike feels great. Response feels good. Um, definitely got some plans, some future plans. Um, but yeah, this chain setup. So far it's been handling the 150 amps peak I put on it. Um, also pretty cheap setup if you have a Vavor motor or bought a Vavor motor or any of the same brand my 2020 motor. They already come with T8F sprockets um so that's what I used. I ended up just using the one it came with originally. And it comes with two. I think one's a 9 and the other is an 11. I had the 11 on there, but it was uh, the launch was just way too slow for me. Uh, it hit 49 miles per hour, but it just uh, it was too sluggish. So I ended up dropping it down to the 9-2 sprocket. And then... I got a lot of my uh, my torque bag, like I can wheelie this thing now. And then it also has uh, it also has decent top speed, which I'm not really sure about. Oh shit, it's so pretty. So I'm not that good at wheelies by all means, but like, It'll pick up. It's like <laughs> it'll pick up for sure. It's a little sketchy, but I can make it work. Just take some practice for sure. And so I'm gonna go to the parking lot, rip it, talk about it. Um, I don't know, just vlog a little, I guess, but this is my hood right here. 
I go to this parking lot all the time and the cops don't give me shit at all. I haven't really seen a cop back there. I mean, I'm probably jinxing it now. It's probably gonna be a random cop there, but you know, I don't think they're gonna give me trouble. Um, yeah, this is the parking lot I like to shred on. Um, practice like turns and stuff like that. Going over speed bumps. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. I like this parking lot. That's just my brake caliper being noisy. I took the wheel off and then it never adjusted the brake when I put it back on. So. Gotta do that. Bike feels great. I'm happy so far with uh, how it probably came out. having to squeeze all the way that's pretty good so yeah the bike's been good um trying to see if i can take 50 but definitely not here because i was actually bring myself especially on this little bump right here oh. yeah we're still at 46 so bought it on amazon I already had the, the motor sprocket, so I bought the kit that came with the chain and the wheel sprocket. Bolted right onto the free, free wheel. I'll make sure to add a link to that kit. Um, one thing I suggest, buy a chain breaker. Uh, without a chain breaker, it's, it's like, it's just a bitch to fucking change for shorting these chains out or take the pins out. People have their ways, but I'd rather just do it right, make it easier for myself. Actually, let's go over here. So here's the bike. I'm sure you guys seen it. Well, I hope you guys seen it from the last video. And here's the chain setup I got on. Got the 9 tooth motor sprocket with the 55 uh, wheel sprocket with the TAF chain. I uh, relocated the chain tensioner. I it was way too noisy where it was in the bottom, and also going through little piles of mud or actually not even like mud. It's more of tall grass. When we get to, right through tall grass, it gets all caught up in the chain tensioner and it just gets super noisy from there same with mud when mud's in there it just sounds like a bunch of rocks crunching up because that's what it is really um yeah i put it up here relocated it super easy uh the other motor mount hole i just got the same uh same bolt that screw goes into the motor mount and then i drilled out the hole in the vent a little bigger to fit the tensioner on there the actual spring so now it just pushes on there and stays on there nice and nice and good it's plenty away from the wheel so don't gotta worry about that and yeah that's all i did um i barely had to tune the kelly so and that was nice I didn't have to spend too much time to tune it to my liking. I think how I have it right now, how I have it right now is uh, perfectly fine. I don't need nothing crazier than what it is. Now at least till I get a stretch swing arm and uh, different forks for sure. It's uh, you notice that after you have a lot of power, you actually gotta do the, those things. It's uh, pretty aggressive if you tune it up but yeah so far so good um motor temperature from that run 107 degrees i'm sure it was like probably 120 or something but it is like 40 degrees outside so so it's helping to keep it cool um yeah i will 
I'll post all the stuff I got on my bike again on this video. I just want to show you guys a little update on what I did. And so far I've been liking it. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, it's a really cheap setup. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to rip around right here for a little bit and then I'll get going home. But that's really it for the video. Just uh, like I said, just wanted to give you guys an update. So yeah, I'll, I'm going to take a little break here and enjoy some snacks. And then I'll get back to riding. Peace. Oh, enjoyed my snacks. So going to rip a little bit and just head on head on home maybe i'll talk because i'll talk about what's going on with the razor build um, yeah as i was saying earlier i want to definitely do the stretch swing arm and the forks i'm probably gonna go with the with the 45 48 forks i think that's what it, they were um with the red triple clamps i always forget this guy's name but he's on facebook he sells the red triple clamps basically bolt on for the forks and the razor so you don't gotta do any mod modification at all and i think that's really really cool and it's super helpful for a lot of guys who don't have access to a welder or fabricator i mean you you can go to a fabricator around your town or another town or whatever but i'm pretty sure they're gonna either charge you a lot or they're gonna reject your the, what you want weld, welded because it is a lot liability for a lot of places to uh, do um welds like that um because yeah I've, one of those welds fail and you crash then you do have, have like the option to sue them which is um which is a shitty situation um I, I, it sucks you know but that's that's how it is and i guess it's just to keep people safe i'm not sure who i want to go for the stretch swing arm i i have someone local in mind that i want to go to but i'm not sure how he feels about it yet um i told him he's been down for it but it is uh if you start from scratch it is quite time consuming and you do need the right material i mean you can reuse stuff from the the the, the swing arm already on but it's just uh i don't know I don't know if it's worth it to just stretch the swing arm I currently have on or or just make an all custom one. An all custom one would be nice too. But I definitely would I just want it to look right, you know. I don't want no shady welds on it or anything. The force um I'm pretty uh ready for when I get the funds for it, I'm just gonna slap them on and that's it, you know, I don't gotta worry about anything other than making a bracket to fit on my zoom brake, but that shouldn't be a big problem. I, I'm, I'm sure that's easy or I could get my hands on that. Well, I'm sure someone's making that already in the Razor Pro. Um, yeah, it's awesome, I love it. I love this bike a lot. I wish I could push it to its limits, but after a certain speed, it just uh, it just gets way too sketchy, and yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna hurt, seriously hurt myself on this thing, cause that's I don't wanna say it's embarrassing, but that's just it just sucks when you crash on a small bike. I'd rather crash on my server on, cause that's like that's a big bike, bigger compared to this at least. Um, yeah, I, I want to make this bike as safe as possible. I want to make sure when I go in the throttle, like, I'm not worried about hitting uh, all
getting cold enough to where I want to go home. Oh, that one kicked me off. Standing on this thing is so funny. It feels so small. Just like, boom. We're at 102 degrees. It seems like when uh, when we're moving, it tends to get cooler because of that airflow, so that helps. All right, speed run right here. Oh, I don't have my fucking shades out. Alright guys, peace out, like and subscribe, um, comment if you guys have any questions, um, and yeah, keep on riding on, peace.